Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Good afternoon fellow citizens, fellow compatriots. Throughout history, those who administer the criminal justice system hold the power with the potential for abuse and the tyranny. We are seeing this today in our own country. The president makes a declaration that is two and eight years, two and two, two years, eight months since he became president and he has allowed or tolerated certain speeches, certain acts and now that tolerance has come to an end and the people will be arrested and indeed they are arrested in big numbers over what is called hate speech all those arrested none of them belongs to him politically, ethnically, or even religious or otherwise. There is definitely an abuse. There is definitely lack of an impartial system of an administering the criminal justice system. There have been threats coming from his party members, his party leaders from certain parts of our country or regions of our country no arrests whatsoever complaints have been made against his group of those belonging to him no arrests are made yesterday a huge group or a huge number of UPND sympathizers, UPND cadres were marching freely in town. They went to the DEC headquarters there, insulting President Lungu. The videos are circulating. Those who were behind that, none of them has been arrested none of them has been summoned to police the police could not do anything because this was being done in front of them if it was anybody else not belonging to mr kinde hitchlander the police would have moved on them yesterday this is not a recipe for governing well this is not a recipe for the national unity mr kinde is talking about this is a recipe for dividing the country. Only a certain group of people not belonging to him are being charged for hate speech. Yet hate speech is coming, is being brought from his side every day. No one from his side of the country, from his side of the political spectrum, has been arrested for hate speech. Why? But he doesn't want the other side to talk about the injustice that are being committed to them. As a group, politically, as a group, ethnically, and otherwise. Putting a lead 
on complaints about vict about being victimized on ethnic lines on political lines will not stop what is going on when there's a problem in the country or in any community the best way to solve or address that problem is by talking about it openly if we have uh, tribal hate speech in the country the best way to deal with this tribal hate speech is to talk about it to discuss it to find ways to end it silencing those who want to talk about it those who are critical of it it won't work it won't deliver the result that we are seeking there are practices that are not acceptable when people talk about them it's a hate speech and they are arrested this is not the way to deal with these issues people are being detained far much longer than the law permits in police cells the people who were arrested over this hate speech issue have been detained for days far longer than the law permits without being taken to court Mr. Hitchlem has promised several times that if an offence is bondable, bond will be given there and then. If an offence is bearable, bail should be granted. We are not seeing this. Again, it's the issue of Mr. Hitchlem not acting according to his words. He says one thing, he does another. He talks about unity, but his practices are those which are divisive in the country. Mr. Hitchlema is, is not uniting the country, he is dividing the country. Through his many practices, you see this in his appointments to public offices, you hear this in his speeches, you see this in his actions. He is actually the most divisive element we have in the country today. And if unity has to come to this country, it has to start with Mr. Hichilema changing his ways, changing his practices, changing his utterances. He's the most discriminatory person we have in the country today. He discriminates against people on political lines. Those who are affiliated to UPND, they can commit any crimes and they'll get away with it. And we know who is affiliated to UPND. It's not a secret. We know which districts they come from. We know which provinces they come from, most of them. Even those who have been hired, at least some of them behave well. Take people to court in time if you want to prosecute them. We demand that the leaders who have been arrested Madam Edith Nawaki, Honorable Maureen Mabonga, Honorable Mnia Zoro, Apostle Dan Pule, Mr. Brem Nachangala, they must be taken to court today and given the necessary bail they deserve, since they have been denied police bond. Take them to court and ensure that they are given bail. They are trying to charge people with all sorts of offenses that appear very serious. But we know these offenses are trumped up. It's just a way of trying to hold them in police cells, to try to hold them in prisons by denying them bail. This won't do. This is unfair, unjust, and inhuman. Let's treat each other with kindness. Let's treat each other fairly and in a just manner. Good societies are not built on vindictiveness, are not built on tyranny measures. Only dictatorships, only authoritarian regimes act in this way. 
Mr. Hichilema left to continue on this path to destroy this country. Dr. Kaunda warned us. And that warning, we are seeing it today. We are witnessing it today. This man is destroying our country. This man is dividing our country. The people he has, is arresting belong to families. Belong to other groups. He should not expect those groups to sit idle and watch and cheer him on. They will react. And when they react, he wants them to react calmly. He wants them to react respectively to him. It won't work. He's dealing with the wrong people in the wrong way and at the wrong time. He needs to change his ways. Treat other citizens fairly. When in opposition, Mr. Kainde was crying about being treated fairly. He's in power now, is doing the same things he opposed. What does this man believe in? What does he believe in? Anyway, this is what happens to a society when principles are lost, when values are lost. But we demand that all those who have been arrested are taken to court today without fail. Thank you very much. Alright, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you, peace. I gotta go.